All right, tubes, here we go. We're getting ready here for Sandy to come in. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock on Sunday night. It's getting pretty dark. Getting a little difficult to see, but we got to make sure the antenna is all right. Uh, I took down my Antron 99, which I haven't even done a video on. I was using that on 10 meters a lot, and it works great. But either way, I took that down, and I just set up this, this array here. It uh, does 20 meters and 40 meters, or just dipoles. I'll do another video on that another time, uh, just to show how it works. How we, uh, so I got these weights here to keep it taut. But either way, we'll, we'll do another video of that later. And what we're doing now is the mast we think needs a little extra support. Uh, it's tied to the tree right now. We don't think the tree is going to, might not, might not hold up in 75 mile an hour winds. So we're going to set up the scaffolding here, put that on top and then tie it, tie the mast to the scaffolding. Hopefully that'll do a little bit better. I think it's a six to one half dozen of the other kind of deal. But the uh, main goal is just to be able to stay on the air during the storm because that'll be real neat. Check into the hurricane net and all that and uh, see what's going on. So that'll be pretty neat. All right, tubes, here we go. This is uh, the moment I have been waiting for. Uh, it's Hurricane Sandy, and the power has finally gone out. But, as you can see here, the power has finally just started. Anyway, uh, the power went out about 15 minutes ago. We just fired up the generator here, uh, so we're going to be running on uh, emergency power for a little while. Don't know how long. We rarely lose power, so this could mean uh, it'll be a long time, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to get this thing set up here. I don't want to leave him out in the, uh, in the wind there to get this thing running, so I'm going to help get the wires running and all that, and then uh, we'll come back. Alright, uh, we got Old Faithful running here. Seems to be running pretty good. Uh, there's a little dirt in the carburetor, but I think that's cleared out. So we got our extension cord going in. And I just uh, I hooked up this ground cable. And that's running to my station ground. Uh, you can see I have my contract. I took that out, but that's, that's another story. Anyway, I saved it now. It's going right to my uh, Inside here and figure out what we're going to do as far as uh, getting some of the lights running and stuff. We we're thinking if we turn off the main breaker and uh, hook a double sided cord into one of the outlets, we think that would work, but we've never tried that before and we don't know whether for, for sure that it'll work, so we're not going to take any chances, we don't think. But anyway, Old Faithful's running good, so we'll show you uh, how the house runs on emergency power. All right, uh, we got our, our lines coming in here. We've got a couple of them out of the garage. Uh, one of them here is our uh, our drop light above the coffee maker, and that lights up the kitchen here. And the other one is going into the light in there. But what we wanted to do real check, real quick, is check our uh, the voltage because we turn the turn the speed of the engine down a little bit just to. Uh, Maybe a little more tolerable to listen to, but we think the voltage might be a little bit low. Let's see. How's that look? Looks like, uh, what scale are you on? 250? Looks like it's putting about, on about 70 volts. Right? It's a little low. Yeah. What we might have to do is turn the generator back up a little bit and see if it gets higher. And that'll, uh, that'll determine if the engine speed is what's causing the problem. But anyway, uh, it seems to be doing a fine job. So uh, I think I'm going to take you down to my radio room and I'll show you the, uh, the emergency backup power setup we've got down there. All right, Tubes, I uh, wanted to show you what I got going on here uh, in this, down in the shack for, uh, for power. So we got our extension cord coming in here. I have that hooked up to my... Uh, my five dollar uh, socket here that I really like for some reason I just really like this thing compared to a power strip I just love this thing 
I don't know why, but I like it. So I got it hooked up to uh, just a little light here, and I have my, I have my phone charging just to uh, top it off before we shut the generator down for the night. And then I have the charger here on the uh, battery power for the radios, and I don't know whether or not we're putting out enough voltage for the uh, the charger to actually be doing anything. So we might be running off of the uh, completely off of the battery. I'm not sure. But I've got the battery hooked up to my HF rig here and then the CB down here because uh, I had a buddy who was supposed to check in with me uh, as soon as the power went out on the CB but uh, I haven't heard from him yet so maybe we'll get to talk to him tomorrow because uh, power's supposed to be out for a while I think but anyway I uh, got the HF rig here and I thought it'd be pretty cool to be talking on battery power so I'm going to go ahead here and uh, see if I can make contact there's a uh, fellow in Montana, um, I think, and uh, so I'm going to see if I can, I talked to him earlier, but I didn't uh, give him a detailed uh, description of what the weather is like, so we're going to see if we can get him. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod, and uh, we'll do some uh, portable emergency power operation. QVT. Connor Barney County. Emergency net, going to Burning County Emergency Net. This is Racy's net that operates the County Link Repeater System 147150 in West Hampton, New Jersey at 145.470 in Chatsworth. PL is 127.3. Stations for net business requested to save their attention at the time of check-in. Station for emergency traffic should call anytime using the word break. Control is not listening, full duplex. Roll call follows. Actually, we're going to take check-ins. In case anybody's out there, Alpha through Zulu, member or non-member, please come down. 